Crystal Vanway here in Phoenix and I've got a question for you. A rhetorical question. This is a video after all. But if I asked you what city in the United States is at the highest risk for drought, what would you say? And I, and I would think that Phoenix would be one of the cities that, you know, kind of pops into your head right off since we're right in the middle of a desert. But you would be oh so wrong. We don't even rank in the top 10 according to Spearling. We are number 23. The city with the highest risk for drought is LA, and in fact, five of four of the five cities that top that list are in, all in California. Now, why does Phoenix not worry about water as much as California? Well, the reason I think is because we are a desert. We've always been a desert, and so since the first inhabitants lived here in Phoenix, the Hohokam Indians, way back when, we have been managing our water resources. One of our uh, largest supplies of water comes from the Colorado River. We've got a series of canals that actually was started by the Hohokam Indians that supplies us with this river water. Of course the system has been expanded upon a lot since those old days but a lot of water comes from the Colorado River through our Central Arizona Project canal system. The next supply of the next highest supply of water comes from our groundwater and there's a lot of resources in Arizona that are used to recharge that groundwater. And I'm actually sitting in one right now. This is the Water Ranch and Repair and Preserve. It's right in Gilbert at Greenfield and Guadalupe. It used to be a cornfield, but now it's a beautiful park. It's really a cool park. And it has seven big recharge ponds that affluent water is pumped into and allowed to trickle down and recharge the groundwater. The Water Ranch is a really great destination for school field trips or a nice place to bring your kids. They have uh, ranger-led tours of the park. They teach you about the plants and animals that live here. They even do stuff at night so you can see the nocturnal life here. You can go fishing. They have a big fishing lake in front of the library. And you can even go camping here, believe it or not. There's a planetarium that's usually open on Fridays and Saturdays and they'll point that telescope at whatever celestial body is, uh, is the one to see at that particular time. So there's lots to do here, lots to learn, and I just think it's a really unique kind of park right in the middle of the city. So check it out, Greenfield and Guadalupe, and learn more about our water conservation efforts here in Phoenix. If you have any questions or comments, shoot me an email at kristen at I would love to hear from you. Make it a great day.